So we go live to Eco Hotel Victoria Island, Lagos, where the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, NUPRC, is set to commence the 2022 Deep Offshore Mini Bid Round. Good morning, everyone. Um, the MC has uh, wished us all a uh, happy new year, and uh, I can only stand here to adopt that. And also, we have seen the efficacy of uh, women. I've always believed that one day that women will rule this country. So, <laughs> yeah. So thank you, EC Rose, for that beautiful uh, welcome uh, address. Um, the Honorable Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, here represented by uh, the Permanent Secretary Minister of Petroleum, our brother, Ambassador Aduda, Your Excellencies, there is governors here uh, represented can see the representative of uh, Plateau uh, Governor, my brother, Mr. Awatai. Uh, we're together marketing crew today. You can see what <laughs> goes around, comes around. So now we are marketing deep offshore blocks. Captains of industry here present. Um, top management uh, members of uh, the NUPRC, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, prospective investors, members of uh, the diplomatic community, and the gentlemen of the press. I'd like to welcome you all. This is a major road show uh, for the um, uh, deep offshore uh, block that we are marketing on behalf of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It is indeed my pleasure and honor to warmly welcome you all to the pre-bid conference following the announcement of the 2022-2023 mini uh, bid round exercise of the 22nd of December 2022. The theme of today's event is Growing Upstream Investment in Nigeria Through Licensing Round. The bid process and opportunities. The importance of this event cannot be overemphasized. Truly, its significance is evident by the large and diverse attendance of stakeholders and invitees from different walks of life here present. Ladies and gentlemen, before proceeding further, permit me to swiftly pay glowing tribute to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammadu Buhari, GCFR, for the passage of the Petroleum Industry Act thereby laying a solid foundation for total transformation of the Nigeria oil and gas industry. Besides, the timely approval of the mini-bid exercise by Mr. President as the Honorable Minister of Petroleum Resources is a strong commitment to increase the national oil and gas reserves and production for enhanced federation revenue. It is also highly remarkable that the approval of the exercise by Mr. President as the Honorable Minister of Petroleum Resources is the first in the last 15 years, thereby adding to the plethora of achievements of this administration. In a similar vein, let me quickly acknowledge the overwhelming support and guidance of the Honorable Minister of State for Petroleum Resources. Chief Timisiva, enjoyed by the Commission that has made today's event possible. 
in compliance with the provisions of the Petroleum Industry Act 2021 and regulations made pursuant thereto. The Commission has issued a licensing RAND guideline and published a licensing RAND plan for a total of seven deep offshore open blocks. That is PPL 300, PPL 301, PPL 302, PPL 303, PPL 304, PPL 305, and PPL 306. These seven deep offshore blocks covering an area of approximately 6,700 kilometers in water depths of 1,150 to 3,100 meters are on offer in this mini bid round, but are intended to be the first in a series of bid runs aimed at further development of our prospective petroleum basins. The bid runs are within the context of our enhanced legal and regulatory frameworks as enshrined in Section 73 of the PI 2021 that seeks to encourage new investors and investments into the next phase of oil and gas exploration in Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, let me profoundly express that this pre-bid conference is a clarion call to technically and financially capable, capable local and foreign investors to invest and take advantage of the generous regulatory and fiscal regimes in the upstream petroleum sector in Nigeria. The mini bid round is a market driven program expected to outperform the last bid round which held in April 2007, during which a total of 45 blocks were put on offer under a different regulatory regime, the Petroleum Act of 1969. In line with the provisions of the PIA, the mini bid run will be managed by the NUPRC with its support by its national data repository and multi-client partners underpinned by high quality data sets. The blocks on offer have extensive 2D and 3D seismic data coverage. A 3D mega survey plus reprocessed pre-stack time migration of remarkable quality is also available to prospective bidders. Links to all data and information, including the guidelines for the award and operations of the petroleum prospecting licenses in deep offshore Nigeria, along other further information that provides details regarding the blocks on offer and the procedural stages of the bid process can be assessed via the dedicated NUPRC portal, br.nuprc.gov.ng. The exercise is scheduled to last for approximately four months along the following processes. The exercise is scheduled to last for four months along the processes one, registration and pre-qualification, data prime through purchase, technical bid submission and presentation, technical bid evaluation, and commercial bid conference. As part of the bid process, we have announced the commencement and launched the bid round portal, which was officially opened on 3rd of January 2023. We have also provided an official email address 
phone numbers and dedicated support line to guide applicants through the licensing round process. Distinguished stakeholders, ladies and gentlemen, please be rest assured that the entire bid process pursuant to the provisions of the PIA 2021 and attendant regulations will be fair, transparent, and competitive in line with best practices. Furthermore, the mini bid exercise has been designed to attract competent investors from across the world, both local and foreign, that have the capability and competence in operating in deep water environment. However, all our deeds must be duly registered in Nigeria under the Communist and Ally Matters Act. Applicants may participate either as an individual company or as a consortium. Distinguished stakeholders, ladies and gentlemen, the mini bid round is indeed expected to be a huge success for Nigeria and is a big step towards growing the nation's oil and gas reserves through aggressive exploration and development efforts. Boosting production, expanding opportunities for gas, expanding opportunities for gas utilization and development, strengthening energy security and economy. Providing the opportunity to gainfully engage the proof of competent companies in the oil and gas sector for resorting employment opportunities, enabling transfer of technology, valorizing petroleum assets in the Nigerian territory, and attracting investments. In addition, the mini bid round presents us with the opportunity to reinforce Nigeria's commitment to openness and transparency in line with the principles of the Extractive Industry Transparency Initiative. On the global scale, the licensing round will no doubt be gainful to all stakeholders and will, in the long run, contribute to long-term global energy efficiency. Interestingly, the licensing round process was formulated in cognizance of global sustainability goals. The process will, in addition to technical and commercial considerations, pay the requisite attention to strategies, processes, and implementable plans consistent with net zero carbon emission targets. Eliminating gas flares, as well as overall environmental, social, and governance considerations. The oil and gas industry in Nigeria has embraced the reality of energy transition and is taking strategic position to leverage on the opportunities presented by the unfolding era. As a regulatory commission, we have taken deliberate steps in this regard, including the recent issuance of guidelines for management of fugitive methane and greenhouse emissions in the upstream oil and gas operations in Nigeria during the COP27 in Egypt in a manner that attracted international commendation for Nigeria. However, it is worthy to recognize that recent events around the globe indicate that fossil fuels will continue to be core part of the global energy mix into the future, even beyond the 2050 targets for achieving net zero carbon emissions that has been set by most countries. The recent increase in the price of energy mostly occasioned by the conflict between Russia and Ukraine and the ensuing energy disruption have reawakened 
the call for geopolitical energy security and sustainability. I want to conclude this keynote address by re-inviting investors from across the world with capability and experience in operating in deep water environment to embrace the generous fiscal provisions of the PIA and join us in this journey of energy sustainability aimed at developing our oil and gas resources as cleanly as possible. It will interest you to note that the Commission has established a committee to collaborate with the world-renowned energy consultants, Wood Mackenzie, to ensure that the Nigerian Petroleum Upstream Regulations are in line with international best practices, which will form the basis for regulating the awardees of the seven deep offshore blocks offered in the 2022-2023 mini bid round exercise. Once more, I must thank all participants for finding time to attend the pre-bid conference. The joint team from the Commission and the multi-client data companies will in subsequent sessions in this pre-bid conference today provide robust clarification on all your inquiries regarding the bid exercise. I thank you all for your attention. Thank you. Thank you very much, Engineer Gwinga Komolafe, FNSE Commission Chief Executive, Nigeria Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, um, working us through just a little bit of an intro of what this whole exercise is about, when it started, what duration it will take, what is expected of those who are coming to tender these beads, and ultimately leaving with a commitment that they are committed to ensuring that the regulation is done based on international best practice uh, for which they have received commendations and recognitions. Can you please give him one more round of applause? Thank you very much, sir. He also reiterated that we will be listening to the Commission's subject matter experts and the multi-client partners experts as well they will take turns to address different aspects of the bead. Now, once they're done addressing the different aspects of the bead, I will come back up, set up a few chairs here, and invite a moderator who will then come and moderate what it will be at the time, a question from the moderator to them. It will not be time for your own interaction. Now, remember, again, after that session, we're going to do another session that will be for FAQs, frequently asked questions. After that, we then have an interaction where you can engage with the commission. So I say that to say this, that when we get to that part that will be happening after these single presentations, you don't um, expect to be asking questions at that time. We just want to listen to them. Let the subject matter experts tell us what is in it, uh, what is expected of us, how to go about it, and what the guidelines are. So without wasting, um, I know there, there are two of those companies here, I will recognize them when it's time for them to speak, they will be speaking shortly, um, talking about the representatives of PGS and of course TGS Petro Data, uh, we will recognize you when, you when you come to speak, but I've been told there's a gentleman in the room who also designed the portal um, through which all of this process will happen, and that's the managing director of Max Front, Simon Iene. Um, Simon, um, thank you for the work you did there. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Let's give him a round of applause, please. Thank you very much. Okay, so we will begin with the subject matter experts inside the NUPRC. First will be an overview of the 2022 mini bid round. Um, I would ask the speakers, please, when you come on stage, um, because we want to make it as Oh yes, oh yes. I'm, I'm jumping for whatever reason, I don't know why. <laughs> for whatever reason, I don't know why I'm jumping. Okay, thank you, thank you, my CCE and my LA. 
for whatever reason, I don't know why I'm jumping. Okay, so we're going to listen to the minister's address, and after the minister's address, we'll then come back to what I was I'm talking to, um, speaking to uh, a few seconds ago. Um, we'll take the minister's address. As we know, he's not here, but he's very well represented by the, um, his permanent secretary. I'd like to welcome His Excellency Ambassador Gabriel Tanimu Aduda. Your Excellency, you're welcome. The stellar career you have had in civil service, if an oil ware has that kind of performance, people will beat any amount for it. About four different ministries so far. You're welcome. Thank you so very much. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, permit me to stand on existing protocols. And I'm still wondering uh, what we will do with Richmond wanting to skip the minister's address. Should we do a query? Do we have eyes here? We have knees. We suspend them. <laughs> Good morning, all. I bring you greetings from Abuja, from uh, His Excellency President Muhammadu Buhari, who is the Minister of Petroleum, and also my own very boss, uh, His Excellency, the Minister of State, Chief Timipre Silva, the Minister of Petroleum Resources, and the entire ministry. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what we're here to do today is, an, is a very, very important event, a milestone that we think uh, is one that will uh, showcase the efforts of Nigeria as a nation not only an oil producing nation, but also in our quest to push for energy security and access for our people from north to south, east and west, making every corner of this nation. Our country is very rich in hydrocarbon resources, which the administration of His Excellency, President Muhammadu Buhari, and the Minister of Petroleum Resources are all committed to finding and developing to end energy poverty, create shared prosperity, and enthrone sustainable development. At the heart of this administration is the vision to drive infrastructure and industrial development of the country in order to prosper our citizens and make life more meaningful to us all. This is the motivation that sustained the quest for reform in the petroleum sector, which culminated in the passage and signing into law by Mr. President of the landmark Petroleum Industry Act in 2021. One of the key mandates of the Ministry of Petroleum Resources is to grow reserves from the current 37 billion barrels of oil to 40 billion barrels of oil by 2025. The PIA 2021 provided the regulatory support and framework for achieving this mandate by providing fiscal terms which industry players and operators can utilize and deploy world-class cutting-edge technologies to de-risk exploration in the deep offshore. Hydrocarbons encountered in these seven offshore blocks will significantly contribute in boosting our oil reserves and ensuring our continuous energy sufficiency. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, today's event is coming on the heels of the recently concluded groundbreaking ceremony of the Kalmani Oil Prospecting Licenses 809 and 810, which we have now renamed PPL, Petroleum Prospecting Licenses, which provided yet another opportunity for discussing the energy transition and climate change. We all recall the commitment that Mr. President made during COP26 in Scotland that Nigeria will attain net zero carbon emissions by 2060. This was further re-emphasized late last year at COP27 when we all gathered in Egypt to look at how best 
to work on energy sufficiency. That commitment has profound implications on the manner in which our natural resources will be exploited and is responsible for measures which have already been taken to ensure the crystallization of that commitment. A few rules have been put in place on how best we can achieve this, and the regulations are going to be rolled out and supervised extensively by the ministry to ensure prompt and effective implementation by all players in the industry. It is therefore my great pleasure to welcome you all to this pre-bid conference for the exploration and production of oil and gas blocks offshore in the deep waters of Nigeria. The seven deep offshore blocks have been thoroughly evaluated and are believed to have significant potential for hydrocarbon reserves. They are in some of the most promising areas of the deep waters of Nigeria, which have been de-risked by other producing fields nearby. As we all know, oil and gas industry has been a vital sector for the Nigerian economy for many, many years. However, we must also recognize that the world is facing a critical challenge in the form of climate change. The effects of this change are already being felt, even in Nigeria, not just around the world. And it is our responsibility to take action now to mitigate this impact. Nigeria has echoed its commitment to develop its abundant petroleum resources, especially gas, with proven reserves of over 200 The Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission's deep offshore mini bid round, currently ongoing here in Lagos.